guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about intuitive eating and how you can start eating more intuitively. First of all, let's start with the basic. What's intuitive eating? It's all about listening to your body. Eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. It sounds really simple, but it's not always the case. We were brought up in a society that always tells us what to eat and what not to eat. But with intuitive eating, you can basically eat whatever you want. And it's all about ditching that diet culture and stop following the trends and the fad diets. Because honestly, we all know that that doesn't really work. It's about viewing food as not just calories, but as fuel for your body. Also, it's about viewing exercise as not a punishment, but as a reward. I feel so grateful to be able to move my body the way that I do and be able to exercise and feel this rush of energy after it. But intuitive eating is not about eating everything that you want and just not caring about anything at all. It's more about fueling your body with the right nutrients and seeing food as a form of fuel. How can you start intuitive eating? Honestly, you have to relearn to listen to your body. Everyone is born with internal cues of hunger and fullness. Think of a baby. A baby will cry when it's hungry and when it's full, it's gonna stop. It's something that we're all born with, but as we grow and as we listen to society and as we listen to magazines and diet culture, we kind of unlearn all of these cues. Also to start intuitive eating, you have to realize that yo-yo diets and fad diets don't work. It can be a really vicious cycle of restricting food and then craving it and then caving and then feeling guilty. It goes on and on. You stop eating ice cream. You think you're doing good, you eat salad, you eat salad, you feel too hungry, and then 30 days into your diet, you cave and you eat the ice cream and you binge. It just becomes this cycle of losing weight and then gaining it all back. Another tip to start intuitive eating is to focus on foods that makes you feel good. To me, food that makes me feel good is a lot of veggies and a lot of fruits. When I eat a big smoothie bowl, a big salad, or a bowl of noodle with a lot of veggies, it just makes me feel so energized and feel so good that I just want to keep on eating those foods. You also have to move your body in a way that makes you feel good. If it's yoga, or if it's running, or even if it's just walking, find a type of exercise that makes you want to work out more and be grateful to be alive and not feel like it's some kind of thing that you need to do to get rid of the calories. I think we've all been there. You eat a piece of cake and you don't really feel good about yourself so you go exercise and you think well it's gonna subtract the calories that I just ate but it's not the right way to see exercise. Right now I see exercise as a form of a reward like I said. It's just such a good way to treat your body and feel good. I find that not counting calories is such a relief. It's such a good way to live your life. Don't see food as a form of negative thing just see it as a positive thing and something to fuel your body right when i eat smoothie bowls and big bowls of salads i just feel so good and it's just energizing me and it makes me want to keep up that good energy and that good feeling i feel like it's so freeing because it promotes body positivity and also a healthy mind and body connection At first, when I started my journey towards intuitive eating, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just ditching the diet culture and I was just done with it. And I found this new love for exercising. It just brought me this good feeling and I just couldn't wait to go exercise. I was just loving it. The way that I started my journey with intuitive eating was kind of a, not a mistake, but I was just so tired with the diet culture. I just let that behind me and I found this new love for exercising. I was just so addicted to the feeling that it gave me after exercising i just felt so energized and in the morning i just felt so awake i was just in this really good mood of like exercising and eating well and not worrying about any kind of calories or any kind of diet i was just living my best life and it was honestly making me feel so good but then i found a video on youtube about intuitive eating and i was like well that's 
exactly what I'm doing right now. It was kind of a weird journey getting here because it was, like I said, kind of an accident. But my relationship with food has never been better. I feel so good about eating a variety of food that makes my body feels good and also makes my mind feel good. But at the end of the day, intuitive eating is a very basic way of eating. We have to unlearn everything the media has told us and learn to retrust our body. We're always being told what to eat and always being shown the next kind of diet and the new trends. But at the end, it all comes down to the basics. Eat when you're hungry, and stop when you're full. You need to see food as your fuel and exercise as a reward and not a punishment. Intuitive eating has improved my mental health and physical health so much. It has improved my body image and self-confidence. And I'm so grateful to be there at this point in my life. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload a new video every Monday. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!